In this video, we'll be covering factorizing expressions. So the first step is to find what we call the highest common factor, which is the largest term that is a factor of all the terms. So once you have found the highest common factor, you then write it in outside the brackets. And to find what goes in the brackets, you then divide each term by the highest common factor. And these solutions are what go in the brackets. So we're gonna do some examples. And the first thing we're looking at is 24x plus 30. So to begin with, if you can't see the highest common factor straight away, it's a good idea to write down the factors of our terms. So we have 24 and we have 30. And I wanna write down all the factors for these. So remember the factors are numbers that when multiplied get, connect, get to 24, such as one, two, three, four, six, eight, 12, and finally 24. Now you'll notice a pattern, one times 24 is 24, two times 12 is 24, three times eight is 24, four times six is 24. Those are your factors. Now we need to write down the factors for 30, and these are one, two, three, five, six, 10, 15, and finally 30. Now the highest common factor is literally the highest common number that you in these lists. So we go across until we find two numbers that repeat, and in this case, it's six and six. So six is our highest common factor. Now remember, when we have 24x plus 30, and we're factorizing it, we write six outside the brackets. So we, now we have some brackets here. We then need to divide each term by six. So if I have 24x, divided by six, I get four X. And then if I do 30, divided by six, I get five. So those are the solutions that are go in, gonna go in the brackets. So we have four X and five. So that there is factorized. All right, so we went from 24 X plus 30 to six bracket four X plus five. So we're gonna do another one here. So we have 6p p plus pq. This time there are no numbers, so we don't really have to do the factor tree. When you're looking at this, same letters or pronumerals are also highest common factors. So in this case, we have p and p. So p is going to be our highest common factor. So that's going to go out the front. If I've removed 1p from the 6p, 6 is left over. Once I've removed the p from the pq, q is left over. So I'm left with that, and that is our factorized expression. Next, we have 6 t, uh, t squared plus 27t. So start by writing down the factors. So we know our highest common factor is three and three, but we also have a repeating letter. There's T squared and T. So we also have a highest common factor of T. So six T squared plus 27 T, we get six T. There's only one T left over from the six T squared. And we know the 27, oh, not six, sorry, this is three which means that's 2t and 9, all right? Because 6t squared divided by 3t is 2t, and 27t divided by 3t is 9. All right, so here we have a bit of a different type, so I'm going to rewrite it out. Now you'll notice that this and this are the same. So those are our highest common factors. So we can actually write those out the front. And what's left over is our T and our minus three. So we add those in brackets and there you go. So again, when you have something like this, think of that eight plus T as a whole, that is the common factor. So it comes out the front and what you're left over with is T minus three in brackets. 
Now we're dealing with negatives. So we have negative 9u plus 18. Our highest common factor here is going to be negative 9. So negative 9 is going to come out the front. I'm left over with a u on the inside. And then to get from negative 9 to 18, we'll need negative 2. So 18 divided by negative 9 is negative 2. So that's why it's in there. Now you'll notice I didn't do the factors here. You don't have to do the factors if you can see it instantly, and that's why I wanted to show you this. If you can see the factors or you understand what the factors are for your two terms, you can go straight to doing the factorization. You do not need to show all the factors, show circling the highest common factor. So to end the video, we'll do a re recap. Remember the first step is to find the highest common factor which is the largest term that is a factor of all the other terms. So once you've found this, this sits outside brackets. And then to find what goes in the brackets, you divide each term by that highest common factor you just found. The solutions are the, what goes into the brackets. So if you cannot see the highest common factor immediately, remember you can write a list of factors and circle the highest common factor. If you can see the, H, the highest common factor straight away, you do not need to do this step.